Alright, so this is where we left off last time. In this tutorial, we're going to start theming our application, giving it more color. Alright, so close this. Back to your text editor right here. Let's go up and up here. Uh, let's change the background of our application. So how you do this in Kiwi is uh, you essentially just draw a rectangle before all your widgets, all right? Giving you the illusion that it's actually the background of everything else. So to draw a rectangle, we need to get our canvas. So the canvas is essentially just like uh, the whiteboard on a drawing board, okay? So you have a board where you can where you can then draw all your widgets on top of that board all right so we get the canvas and canvas dot before before simply means before everything else before all these widgets all right so on our canvas before all our widgets we want to define a color right and this colors value is going to be one 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 and one so unlike uh, most frameworks Colors in Kiwi don't range from 0 to 255, all right? They range from 0 to 1. 0 being, so, okay, so in this case, 0, 0, 0 being black and 1 like this, all the 1, 1, 1, 1 like this being white, all right? You can have stuff in between like 0 0.5, 0 point whatever, as long as your range is in between 0 and 1, all right? So this would be a white color and with this white color what we want to do is create a rectangle capital letter R okay so we want to create a rectangle and this rectangle size is going to be the same size as our main uh same size as our main widget right and this rectangle's position is going to be the same position as our widget all right so this way we get a background a white background for our application all right so save that run that and sure enough we get our background right here all right so now we need to add the color for the header bar so the header bar is this one i believe so copy this copy this and paste it down here tap these in correctly like this and we gave this a teal color all right so teal is 0 0.06 0 0.45 and 0 0.45 so run this Okay, so we have our teal color right here. Now let's fix this button because it really looks ugly, all right? So uh, how we're going to do this is we're going to create a custom button, all right? We could, of course, just uh, give this button the same color as our background. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to create a new button, all right? So make a new button call it flat button and flat button is going to inherit from button behavior behavior so button uh, behaviors in Kiwi essentially give a widget uh, more features all right so in this case our widget can now uh, we can now interact with our widget the same way we can interact with a button all right so button behavior and label i am inheriting from the label because i don't want this button to have a background at all all right so the property i am interested in this one is uh, the font size so i want this button to uh, have a font of six of sixteen pixels. All right. From here, we can then go down here, and instead of it being a button, it's now a flat 
part like that so now we can run this great so fixed now let's fix this buttons color all right so go down right where is it here and define a background color and this color is the same teal all right so 0 0.06 0 0.45 0 0.45 and 1 now let me show you something real quick about these backgrounds as you can see it's the same color but it doesn't look like the same color so why this is like this is because buttons by default are just labels with a background image all right and this buttons background image is the same color as this one so it just shades your color so to fix that in kiwi we can overwrite that background image all right so we can say uh background normal as in if the button is not pressed or anything right that background image we want it to be an empty image so now that should be fixed so now we have that uh for this one we are going to stop here and the next one was going to start uh interacting with our login screen all right so thanks for watching thanks for the support uh subscribe if you haven't already like if you did dislike if you didn't comments questions down below i'll try to answer as many as i can otherwise see you on the next one